Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So we have all the DC TV Comic Con stuff tomorrow from when this video will be going up, which is of course very exciting. I'm sure we are all excited to see, you know, get those uh, new trailers and information drops from the various panels. But in this video, we will be going over some information that is leaked and very conveniently popped up just as these panels are about to go down. Now, the reason for this is that I believe a few of these or a couple will be announced at Comic-Con as they are similar, if not the same, as to what has been announced at panels in the past couple of years. But I will mention which of those or which of these are those similar things when we get to them. Now, there are 10 individual pieces of information here, but some relate back to others. So you could argue that there are maybe only around six or seven things here. But of course, as always, when we are going over something that isn't officially released by Warner Brothers or the CW, please take all of these rumors with a grain of salt. Just keep that in mind. Now, these are coming from 4chan, like those first two drops of, of info from around a month ago, I think they were, uh, or maybe three weeks. Now, some of those are looking to actually become true. So is maybe that maybe that's showing the legitimacy of, the, of that source and those leaks, but We'll have to wait and see until the actual uh, show premieres, I guess. I will show the source page, or what do you want to call it, for all of these at the end of the video, if you are curious. So we will just go over each piece of information and judge the legitimacy of it. But of course, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're thinking of this, uh, which one, uh, you know, uh, grasped your attention the most. Just let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, it would be awesome to drop a like, especially if you're looking forward to Comic-Con. If you're looking forward to Comic-Con tomorrow, hit the like button to show your support. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. So first up, we have Nora's mistake wasn't a satellite. Her mistake was going back in time at all. Now, we have been saying something along this on the channel for a while, basically ever since uh, season four ended. The satellite incident involvement wasn't her mistake but her other mistakes probably led to that being a thing. But in regards to her mistake being from going back in time, this actually lines up with set photos that were, were released over the past couple of days where we see Nora suited up as a speedster interacting with another Nora who is also suited up as a speedster. And yes, you might just be thinking that this is like in between breaks of filming with Jessica Parker Kennedy who plays Nora and her stunt double, you know, just interacting. But this was a scene actually being filmed with these two Noras interacting. So this could be us like reliving what Nora had done beforehand leading up to her showing up at the end of season four or maybe it's like literally in current day maybe this is another Nora or something like that it could just be really confusing time travel itself is just confusing so who knows what the hell is going on here so due to all these set photos and stuff like sort of backing this up I see this first piece of information as pretty legitimate up next is Barry made it clear to his kids not to do this so first up, this doesn't come as too much of a surprise that Barry would advise people not to travel back in time due to, you know, the bad experiences that he has had as well as created. But the most interesting thing from this is that it says kids, suggesting that there is more than just Nora in the future in regards to Barry, well, his children. Are we getting a twin of Nora's or just an older or younger sibling? That will be interesting to see. But this could just be a mistype from the source of these, like you might have just meant to type in kid or something. So maybe best to, you know, not look into uh, too deep into this, but yeah. But to base the legitimacy of this just off whether Barry would stress to, you know, not time travel, then yeah, I give this piece of information my tick of approval. Next up is Cicada is the Big Bad, being played by Mark Pellegrino. So this was said in a previous leak from 4chan. This is something that we would expect to be announced at Comic-Con in the next 24 hours roughly from when this video will go up. I think this is a good fit for the role, but it is the next piece of information from this drop that dives deeper into the character of Cicada. And that is, Cicada is the first metahuman, but hates being one in metas in general because he sees them as abominations in the eyes of God. So this next thing lines up with some, you know, some other stuff that we have heard in regards to Cicada and does set up an interesting premise where he hates a group of people that he himself is a part of. But I'm sure there will be some uh, backing to all of that as to why he uh, despises metas. We have more with Cicada with the next part, which is, he's incredibly charismatic in public as Thomas Hirsch, a politician whose platform is reigning in the metahumans in Central City. Now this description of the character sort of highlights why they would go with someone like Mark Pellegrino for the role, rather than someone who maybe looks a bit more like Cicada from the comics. Now, one thing I'm sure some of you may have noticed is the name Thomas Hirsch. Now in the comics, Cicada is known as David Hirsch, but the name Thomas, where have we heard that before? That's right, from Cecile last season when she touched Kaylin and seemed to tap into the inner Killer Frost 
of Caitlin. So it seems they are changing that up a bit, but will Thomas be Caitlin's father? Like many believe, including myself, and I'm sure many of you. It would definitely be interesting to make Caitlin's long lost father this character. And as you know, if he's the big bad, a bigger connection to Caitlin, as we know, going into the season, Caitlin's got a big season ahead of her. But that is something we would have to wait and see, obviously. It could be that Killer Frost and Cicada are linked, as they may have been created at the same time by the same person. So, Cicada a while ago when he was maybe just, you know, a bit younger, and obviously Caitlyn when she was very young. The final part regarding Cicada from this drop of leaks is, he points to tragedies that happened in past seasons as why Central City's most dangerous enemy is the Flash. Now, this to me sounds very interesting, and when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. If you look back at the past seasons of The Flash, sure, Barry has helped the city a lot and saved it from disaster. We all know that we've all seen it. It's been the point of the show. But in a lot of cases, he is sort of responsible for a lot of these things happening in the first place. Like in season one, he caused the singularity to happen by allowing a certain plan to play out, which was he'd go back in time, save his mother, reverse Flash would go back, all of that, but then not following it and causing that singularity to happen. This led to Zoom getting access to Earth-1, causing all the problems in that season. Then we obviously had Flashpoint with issues there. Obviously, I don't know if Sakata would know about that. And then also we had the storm at the end of season three for no one being in the, in the Speed Force prison. And obviously, you could probably think of other things as well. So Sakata here has an actual case that could definitely put Barry in a corner. I guess the big question is, how would he know about certain things, I guess? Next up is, Dr. Destiny is actually a major antagonist as well, apparently working for Sakata as are villains like Ragdoll and Blockbuster. So we heard the name of Dr. Destiny, uh, Ragdoll and Blockbuster in a previous leak drop thing. As I said in my video that was specifically on Dr. Destiny, I would love to see him on the show. I think his powers are really cool. It would be interesting as hell to have that character or have a character like that just be here on live action and stuff like that. The thing that really goes against this piece of information here and could negate this leak drop is the drop of the name Blockbuster. As going by character descriptions for Arrow's new season, it seems like Blockbuster will be appearing over there as a fellow prisoner of Oliver Queen, where I think that character would be more suited. So yeah, there's that, but you know, Dr. Destiny, though, cool character, I wanna see him still. And finally we have, the initial plan is for Reverse Flash to be the big bad if Cicada doesn't get a decent reception. Eobard's arc begins once the new Wells appears. Now, Obviously, this is cool. Don't get me wrong. This is obviously cool as Reverse Flash. We all want to see him back. I've been saying that we will surely be getting another season where we have Reverse Flash as the main villain again. And it would make sense that the season where we deal with Barry's daughter from the future would also be the season where we get another version of Eobard Thorn showing up. Possibly a much younger version. Not in looks, but just in regards to the timeline. And it would almost be like the origin of Reverse Flash and how he came to be and form that rivalry with the Flash. Now, we did have that episode in Season 2, which I think the producer said, oh, that's the origin of Reverse Flash. If that's the origin of the Reverse Flash in the show, that's terrible because it was just bad. So hopefully they actually do a proper one. But the part where it says he will be the big bad if Cicada isn't received well, that doesn't really make all that much sense to me. And the reason for that is that by the time that we see episode one, so when it's October 9th and it appears on the CW, they would be filming like around episode, anywhere between episode seven, eight, or even the crossover or something like that. Obviously the filming schedules change every year just depending on certain things, but it would be roughly around that area. And that is all counting that we meet Cicada and learn enough about him in episode one or two or even three. Like there's no grant, uh, no confirmation that we're going to meet him in episode one. Now, granted, that back half would be more than enough to have a solid reverse Flash origin story and final conflict and just build up for all of that. There's heaps of time there. But just the wording of all of that by the source just seems a bit off. And then the part about his arc beginning when the new Wells appears... Why would it have to wait until then for that to happen? And what if Cicada was well, well received? Will he just, well, not appear? And you'd think we'd get the new Wells fairly early on in the season as well. Uh, it just, it's just weird wording by this source, in my opinion, in regards to that. But that is all the leaks. Uh, here's the screenshot I took from 4chan of these leaks. Uh, there were some Arrow ones and some Supergirl ones there as well. I will have an Arrow video in regards to their leaks out and about two or three hours after this video goes up. So if you're here early, then look forward to that video as well. But if you're here later, go check out that Arrow video as well. But of course, if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below all of your opinions and what you think of these leaks. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new, especially because we have Comic-Con tomorrow with all the DC TV trailers and stuff. I'm sure I'll be the first one to upload that stuff. So um, yeah, be sure to uh, subscribe for that. And until next video, guys, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.